Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, here at the New York Stock Exchange Media Broadcast booth on a Friday afternoon, and I'm full of energy. Had a lot of coffee. We also have Super Bowl Sunday approaching, but before we get too excited, let's get this report on the road because it's 4 o'clock, the market's there, about to close, and it's time for happy hour in the Big Apple. Now, U.S. stocks, they're falling sharply this Friday despite a stronger-than-expected jobs report, which usually sends the markets higher, but this time sent markets lower on rising interest rate concerns. Now, the U.S. economy added 200,000 jobs in January. Economists expected growth of 180,000 jobs. Wages also rising 0.3% last month. That's in line with expectations. Now, usually, figures like that, is, the figures like that are good for the markets, but... The report sent interest rates higher. Investors continue to be worried about the recent rise in interest rates, believing that they may be rising too fast. Now, it's been technically a volatile week for the U.S. stocks, just to put it lightly. And Wall Street also turning today to the release of key corporate earnings. ExxonMobil reporting weaker than expected earnings, sending its stock lower. Tech giants Apple and Amazon reporting quarterly results Thursday after the close that were positive, while shares of Google parent Alphabet falling nearly 5% today after its earnings missed expectations. And when all of this is combined, let's now take a look and see how the markets are shaping up to close out the session and the week. And with that, kick back, relax, and it's time to talk Super Bowl Sunday. It's the Philadelphia Eagles looking for their first ever Super Bowl win against the New England Patriots in Minnesota. Now, it pains me to say this, but Tom Brady is the best quarterback in the NFL. It's hard to bet against the guy. And this marks the eighth Super Bowl with Brady at QB for the Pats. He's won six of eight uh, of the Super Bowls that they went to, and honestly... As much as it pains me to say again, I don't see anyone in Philadelphia stopping this man in Gronkowski. I, I want to choose Philadelphia, but common sense says no, especially when the Pats have a 12th man on the field named the referee. I'm just joking. Or am I? Or am I? Oh, well, I look forward to seeing a great weekend of football, and I'll see you all bright and early Monday morning from Modern Wall Street saying, yeah, enjoy the weekend and be smart and be safe. I'm James Sweeney.